it's Jenny welcome back to my channel or welcome to the ones that are new if you guys haven't seen my videos before I do a lot of DIYs lifestyle videos and a little bit of entertainment here and there I'm a little weird entertaining at the same time I hope subscribe if you haven't done so already in this week's video I have some DIY projects for you I went to the Dollar Tree and I found some really cute items there like Ooh, Dollar Tree is stepping up its game and I'm so excited to DIY these projects and make it look really cute and affordable. Let's just get on with the video. Let's go. So for the first DIY, we're actually gonna work with the sign that I got. Believe it or not, it was only a dollar. I really wanted to put like a macrame type design on here. So let's open her up. Grab some scissors. Okay, got her out. For now, I'm just gonna remove these so we have just this to work with and grab some of our macrame cord. If you've been watching a lot of my videos so far, yes, I still have this row. There's still a lot left. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting this up. So I want to cut at least six inches of this macrame cord. Okay, six inches, all right? Now that we have our base, we're gonna just start cutting a bunch of them. Maybe we're too intoxicated Trying to have stop a conversation I'm saying I'm fine We both know I'm fine with you all right, now that we have all our macrame cord all cut up, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the ring. If we need more, then we'll go ahead and cut more. We're gonna take our ring, and now we're gonna start tying on their macrame cord using a lark head knot. So now that you have two of them on, you're gonna start doing the same thing all around the whole entire ring. And to make sure that when you're doing your knots, they're facing the same exact way as the others. It's gonna take some time, so put on a movie, put on some music or something, and just sit there, chill, and start attaching them onto your ring, just like that. Get to attaching. So like 80 was still not enough. I mean, there's some that I actually tossed cause I didn't do a really good job with cutting it and they were a little bit shorter. So I would say this is about 75 strands. So yeah, we're gonna have to cut some more. I love tedious projects. Starting to look really cute already, right? Like, can you guys imagine it? Just imagination. Anyways, let's go ahead and cut some more macrame cord and keep attaching. <laughs> We finally did it! We finished the whole entire circle! So when I say that you want to make sure that you are tying the knots the same exact way, don't be like me. I didn't pay attention and I ended up having to like remove half of it and then <laughs> retie it on. Now that we're done with this, we're gonna go to the next step. We're actually going to take some more macrame cord and you're gonna try to measure it out the size of the circle, say maybe like four times just in case because this is gonna be technically like your working strand. I'm just trying this technique out. Don't know exactly the measurements of how long this should be. I think we're safe with like two and a half, but I just don't wanna mess up. So measure it out like this. Now that you have your working strand, you're gonna start off maybe at the bottom. You're just gonna tie a little knot You want it around the same size as these ones, okay? Now you're gonna take your strand and maybe I should have made it a little longer so it's easier for us to work with. So you're gonna make a four. You're gonna take this strand right here, the working strand, and go underneath. Hold on to this one. Pull tightly. So now you're gonna do that again make it a four like that you're gonna hello doggo so we're gonna try to make a ring around the circle once first and then if that turns out nice and then we'll go ahead and do the second layer if you guys remember how I did my macrame coaster it's very similar to that technique I'm trying to do the same exact technique to this so hopefully it looks nice uh, 
So I guess I finished that strand. We barely even hit halfway. We literally got this much. I measured out two times the circle and it only got me up to here. You're gonna need a lot more. So I'm gonna measure out, what, six times just in case so we don't have to like, you know, redo this. What we're gonna have to do is measure out another working cord. I'll probably try to do it like six times the circle. Hopefully that's enough working strand. So what you're going to do now is grabbing a pet comb or any fine toothbrush and brushing out all the macrame cords to create a fringe. Well, that project took forever. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get started with the second DIY. Let's go. Uh, Found these really, really cute little cups. I don't know what they're really actually for. Maybe some candles. They were so pretty. And um, this one has like a little gold at the bottom. Yeah, my dogs are in the back because <laughs> they're scared. My neighbors are playing fireworks. They're a little bit afraid. So if you see them walking around, it's because they're just trying to find a place to hide. This one definitely fits my aesthetic a lot more but then this one needs some help okay so I wanted to start off by painting this one in this antique parchment color in matte acrylic paint I was gonna use baking soda but I think I'm just gonna try to paint this normally and see how that goes and if I like it then I'll go ahead and leave it but if I don't then I'll add baking soda I'm just gonna put paint on it directly on there and just paint it I think I put too much paint in one area this probably will need about two coats. So the first layer is nicely painted. We're gonna wait until it fully dries and then we'll put the second coat on. And I already have paint on myself. So this is definitely the first for me. I haven't tried something like this before, but I just grabbed some water and an old curry cup and I mixed that into water to create like this dirty water looking mixture and then I painted that onto the planter. You want to lightly dab because you don't want the paint to chip off so just brush it on there or use like a sponge and start dabbing that all over this planter. I thought it would be such a cute idea if you grabbed some wooden beads and glued that to the bottom of this planter to make it kind of look like little feet. Doesn't that look adorable? Uh. So for the final and last DIY, I have these shower curtain rings that I found from the Dollar Tree. I see a lot of people put matches in here. You can use it as like a candle cover. I don't know, but this looked really cool and I really wanted to try it out. I started off by heating up my hot glue gun. Normally you can use your E6000 to glue this on, but I think hot glue would be fine for this because it's made out of plastic. And there's 12 rings in one pack. If you know me, you know that I love my hot glue, but this time around it just didn't work out for this project. It started showing too many lumps, so I tried to remove them carefully with a exacto knife, but that wasn't the way to go. Put it under hot water, it'll come off so much easier. Finally, I was able to clean off all the glue and the paint off of these rings. Now I'm just going to grab my E6000 and use that to glue these rings together. It was so much better than the hot glue gun. So we want to try to keep this side right here together. We want to hide that in the back. They're open, so make sure you close them first before you start gluing. Don't be a dummy like me. We're done gluing them on. Now we're gonna just take our toothbrush and we're just start cleaning the glue all around it because once you start painting it, you don't want it to show. Now it's time to paint and I'm just mixing up my favorite combination with all these colors. It turns out to this really nice mauve color. After I mix it up fully, then I'm gonna add in my baking soda. Of course, you know that we just had to do a project with baking soda. I just love this combination for a full ceramic look. Take my time, try to get it back, back. 
So I wanted this to be two-toned, so I just grabbed some white paint and then added some baking soda, painted that onto these rings. And then the leftover paint, I just grabbed a toothbrush and started making little splats all around this. Alright guys, well that's all the DIYs that I have for you today. I hope that you guys liked the project. Please leave me a comment down below which one was your favorite out of the three. I definitely have to say that the macrame sign was definitely my favorite. It was really tedious to do. It took me hours, but it turned out so cute and it looks so nice in my bedroom. Please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! I promise I'll be with you